I want you to notice something in this verse, uh, verses 17 and 18. How many times this brother uses the word my? He uses it five times. My crops, my barns, my grain, my goods, my soul. Who's the provider of all things? God. They're not his. We're given stewardship over things. You see, this man has spent all of his energies seeking to possess the very thing that slipped from his hands the moment his heart ceased to pump. His crops, his barn, his grain, and his goods. You see, we live in the country like no other. We accumulate it, we save it, and we pay rent to keep it. The ultimate expression of selfishness is keeping stuff for stuff's sake. I have a question for you. Where do your possessions go when you die? Maybe, maybe they go to your family. Perhaps if you spent any time in a nursing home, all your possessions were already taken by who? The government. So they're gone already, right? Perhaps an estate sale where guys that I know show up and buy things for pennies on the dollar. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my garage from Mr. Atchison. I'd have never met the man, but I went to an estate sale and bought a whole bunch of tools that he put his name on everything, which I like the detail. And I know when it's mine because it says Mr. Atchison on it. And so that was my, those are my tools now. But I, the point being that I went to this estate sale and, and acquired his goods after his death. And so we accumulate all these things to store them, to pay rent on them, to hold on to our stuff, to one day when we have our last breath, the thing that we treasured the most falls from our hands. And the thing that we spent the least amount of time on, seeking first the kingdom of God, ends up being what becomes the most important thing, right? Mm -hmm.